Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? Tig's world. That is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Sam Wilson and the illustrator is Dorian Dutrix. And the publisher of this book is Book Dash. Tig's mom is a scientist. She knows things. This is Tig. This is Tig's mom. And she is a scientist. Who is a scientist? Someone who does research or studies about science is a scientist. Right? You would have seen people doing experiments, a lot of research in science, right? Those people are called scientists. And she knows things. She does know a lot of things. Tig's dad is a writer. He makes things up. So this is Tig's dad. And he is a writer. He writes stories or articles for a paper. So he's very good at making things up. What does it mean? He is very creative. He can imagine a lot of things and makes up stories. So Tig is holding something. Looks like a ball. Mm, no, it's not a ball. I think it's a globe. Looks like continents. Let us see what Tig's holding up. Tig has a globe. Mom, if the world is round, why don't the people on the bottom fall off? So what she was holding was a globe. What is a globe? Globe is a small round or a spherical object which actually represents how Earth is. It's a miniature or a smaller version of the Earth. What all can you find on a globe? You can find countries, various continents, all the oceans around the world. You can find cities, the place you are living in, all those things you can find out on a globe. So she's holding up a globe and she's asking, she has a doubt. She's asking her mom, mom, the world is round. The globe is round, right? And it's a, a small mini version of the world. So it is round in shape. So if people are somewhere at the bottom or on the other side, why are people not falling off? Why are they not falling down from the earth? So that's her doubt. It's a very good question, right? Let us see what her mom says. Because gravity pulls everyone towards the middle of the earth. Ah, why are we not falling down? from the earth because there is this invisible force that we experience every day which is called gravity and that gravity pulls us all towards the if this is the globe towards the center of the globe so it attracts like a magnet like it pulls towards the center so you cannot fall down you won't fall down where else have you seen the effect of gravity? You can see it everywhere, all the time. If you throw a ball up, what happens to the ball? It automatically comes down, right? If, you, if there is a fruit that is hanging on, the, on a tree, if it is ripe, it falls down. It doesn't go up, right? It doesn't go up to the sky. It instead falls down to the ground. This is all because of gravity. Every object is being pulled towards the center of the earth. And that force is called as gravitational force or gravity. Okay. Wherever you go, the earth feels like it is below you. Unless you go into space. Then there is no down at all and you float. 
So this gravitational pull that you feel, you can pull it only on the earth and till a certain distance in the atmosphere. Beyond that, if you go, you don't feel a pull. That is in the space, outer space, beyond earth, where you go, you cannot feel the gravitational pull. So what happens there in the space? See what is happening here? Tig is floating, right? You will start floating because you are not pulled in or pulled out. You will start floating in the outer space. People on the other side of the earth think that they are the right way up. Ah. So what happens? This is earth. So it keeps rotating, right? So when you are at the top, people probably think that they are way up and people on the other side might fall down. It doesn't happen. Everybody is way up only because of gravity. And we are upside down. Isn't that amazing? So as I told earlier, when the earth is rotating, the one at the top actually thinks, earth actually has a tilt, right? It, it is tilted and it rotates. So people at the top think that they are at the, uh, in the right way up and people on the other side are facing downwards. There is no upward or downward. Everybody faces right up. And this is really amazing. And this is all because of gravity. Dad, if the world is round, why don't the people on the bottom fall off? She didn't stop with just her mom. So she goes to her dad and asks the same question. Dad, the world is round. So people on the bottom, why are they not falling off? So let us see what her dad says. See, she's again holding up the globe and asking the same question to her dad. Oh, they used to. A lot of people fell off. Oh, so he's a writer, right? He's very creative. He has come up with a story. He says, yeah, yeah, they used to fall. A lot of people used to fall off. And let's see what happens to all those people who fell off from the earth and ended up on Saturn. Oh, from earth, they just fell on Saturn. Saturn is another planet in our solar system. It is one other planet in our solar system. Look, this is Saturn. It has beautiful rings around it. So apparently all the people who fell off from Earth ended up on Saturn, the planet. But some people got caught in the branches of trees. They climbed up to the ground and dug tunnels so they could get around without falling. So not all of them landed on Saturn. It seems some of them got stuck on the tree branches. There are a lot of trees around, right? In Earth, in our world. So some people got stuck on the trees. So what happened to them? So they held on. They were holding on to the branches and they slowly came down to the ground. They started digging tunnels so that they can go underneath and they will not be able to fall. So they started living in caves or tunnels. Now they have built upside down houses and they swing between them on ropes. So initially they were all living underneath inside tunnels. Now they decided, okay, well, let's try other things. And they've started building upside down houses and they start swinging from one house to another. Between houses, they keep 
going through ropes see there are ropes tied between houses these upside down houses so they take these ropes and swing and go to the neighboring houses this is a really funny idea right tig is pretty sure someone is making things up tig is very smart she has come to know someone is making up a lot of fancy stories so who do you think is making up the story the mom or the dad but that's okay she is okay with that it's okay even if it is a story it's a wonderful story right let us look at some of the difficult words that we saw in today's story globe globe is a very small scaled version of the earth which shows all the countries continents oceans and location of places scientist scientist is a person who is studying or has expert knowledge of one or more of the natural or physical sciences saturn saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest in the solar system after jupiter jupiter is the largest after that is saturn so it is a planet in our solar system try these questions you are a smart child like tig can you tell me who was making up stories in the story the mom or the dad a very famous scientist gave a lot of information about gravity can you name the scientist did you like today's story i really enjoyed it i thought it was very funny until we meet next time it's bye from saumya